Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really pretty candy cane wrapped yarn and ribbon wreath. Now, how do you hang these? Just like you hang all the other yarn wreaths I make, you can hang it directly on your wreath hanger or take a piece of wire and run it through the yarn on the back and make a loop. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. All right, friends, let us get started. This is the candy cane wreath frame. This is from Dollar Tree. Now, I know they are a lot smaller than they have been in years past. I still have some of the big ones, but for this video, I'm going to be using the smaller one, okay? Now, the ribbon that we're going to be using, I got this from Joann's. It is, ah, paint or something. <laughs> one and a half inches wide, okay? One and a half inches wide, and there's 10 yards on this spool. Like I said, this came from Joann's. You're also going to need some of this fuzzy yarn. Now, listen, please because um, I don't have the label to this anymore. This is a seven weight blanket yarn. This is Bernat Blanket. You can get this at pretty much a lot of craft stores. I don't even know what all stores carry it, but this came from Joann's. I know Michael's has some, Walmart has their own version, but basically you're just gonna be using this big, fluffy, soft yarn, okay? So any type of fuzzy yarn that you can get your hands on, that's gonna work, okay? So now what we're going to do is we have our handy dandy hot glue gun over here and to start off with i'm going to glue this ribbon to the frame okay so i'm just going to bring some down so that it overhangs on the bottom okay by a little bit okay i can hold it straight like so and then you're just going to flip it over and i know this is kind of hard to do until you get it started i want to bring it up about this much and then i'm going to start cussing here in a minute i'm just going to put a blob of hot glue right there and that's just going to hold our ribbon in place while we wrap the yarn okay so i'm just holding that down until that glue sets up okay now to make this easier on ourselves i'm going to go ahead and just kind of measure out about how much ribbon i think we're going to use so that we don't have to deal with this spool flip flopping back and forth i'm just going to cut a piece over like so and then we're gonna get rid of that and by get rid of it i mean throw it in the floor all right i think my yarn has some moss on it or something because i was working with that um spanish moss crap um so i'm just gonna put a line of hot glue now here just right across the bottom now i'm gonna hold this down i'll leave a little bit sticking out because i'm gonna wrap that around the back just to make double good and sure that it is secured here on the bottom okay we're just going to hold that there and let that glue set up. And then we're going to start wrapping it. Okay, I think it's set up. I think so. <laughs> and now let's just bring this tail end over and hold that there until that glue sets up. And that should be good enough. It should be good enough. So now what we're gonna do is now let us start wrapping our way around our candy cane here. Now this is gonna count as one wrap already, okay? So now you're just gonna bring that around for two wraps. Had to let the cat in. Bring it around for two wraps, okay? One and two. Now flip your ribbon over you see how we had kind of glued it down on the back there just flip that over along with it and now you're going to wrap four times okay so one let's get some more yarn here and two i'll pick off these little pieces of moss here in a minute and three and four okay four times now you're going to bring your ribbon back over like so okay just hold that down flat and now you're going to wrap for two times one let's get our ribbon straight one and two and you can use like little blobs of glue here and there on the frame on the ribbon on these crossbars to hold your yarn down so you know in case you let it go it's not going to go you know um, but now we're going to get the ribbon out of the way again 
and then wrap it four more times. And you're just gonna continue in this manner all the way across your frame, okay? So I'm gonna work on that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I have come up to this curve here and let's talk about what I'm gonna do. Just like I did in a previous video, um, you may just have to cut your ribbon and piece it, see, to get you around this hook down here. So let's see about, this is gonna be tricky, okay, to get around this part. So I'm gonna just angle my ribbon a little bit and I'm just going to cut it right along there, I think. And then we're just going to lay that back down and take a look, okay? I think I wanna trim this. Just lay it back down, take a look. I think that'll look okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue there. I'm going to wrap my yarn around it. And if the ribbon sticks out, I'll just go back and I'm gonna trim it down right in here. You can see, you might can see just a little bit of it, um, but it's okay. We've done this before, like I said in a previous video. So I'm gonna let that glue set up and then you just continue wrapping. And if you get over here and you see that your ribbon is not gonna work with you, you can just cut it and piece it and turn it just like we did right there, okay? So we'll keep on. Okie dokie, let's move this down a little bit. So we are all the way at the end here and now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna tuck it around the back here. Let's trim this so that it looks a little bit neater. I don't care if that's sticking out right there. Look at that moss, oh my goodness. I don't care that you're gonna see ribbon on the end. I, I really don't. we're just gonna fold this over and hold it in place. All right, so now we're gonna make a simple bow. Let's try to determine about how wide we want this. Now, remember when you fluff up your uh, bow loops, that does take away from the width, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, this looks good to me. So I want it to be this wide. I'm just gonna bend it right there, okay? And then I'm going to cut, I wanna say three of these, okay? All the same length. These pieces here, I'm gonna cut two more. Okay, now for each one of these loops, we are going to, or loops, <laughs> they're not loops yet, they're gonna be. They are gonna be. We're just gonna take this and we're just going to glue them. Like I said, now, we're, now I can say the word loop. We're making loops. So you're just gonna have to hold that in place until that glue sets up and do the same thing for the other two loops. Now I got glue on my hands. Okie dokie, but anyway, this is where we glued it together. That needs to be on the back, okay? So now I'm gonna fold these flat because it makes it easier for me. I'm just going to fold them and then I'm just gonna lay them on top of each other like so. Like I said, don't worry about this because we're gonna fluff them up here in a minute anyway. Okay, all right. Now let's see about how long I want the tails to be. Hmm, let's say. That looks good, because you can always trim off the ribbon, okay? I mean, you can make, if you're if you're like, oh, the tail is too long, it's okay, you can trim it off, all right? Why are you doing this to me? So now I'm just going to cut another one, and I'm gonna set these off to the side just for a minute. Stop! All right, so now let's cut another piece, and we'll use this piece for the center, okay? So now we're gonna take these and you know how you kind of like fold it to make like a like a little bow tie, like so. You want to fold them like that. Just kind of squish them down in the center and it looks like a little bow tie. And you're going to do that for all three of these. And then it don't have to be perfect. Like I said, we're going to fluff it out here in a second. And then we're going to take this center one, this piece here, and we're just going to wrap around it. Okay, hold that in place. I know it's, it's looking rough right now. Just, just give me a minute. It'll be all right. And now we're going to take this and glue around it. So I'm just going to lay it here. Just try to get everything together here. I need another glue stick probably. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold this down in the center. And then you're going to wrap it around it and glue it down. Okay, so now we have this. Now you're just going to take your loops and fluff it out. I usually don't even give a flying hoot about fluffing them out until I actually get it attached to the wreath or whatever it is that I'm making. And then I'll worry about it. I just want to fluff it up right quick so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, 
like I said, we will definitely get into this later and make it look better. But, um, yeah, this is what it's going to look like for now. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab some greenery. And we're going to put the greenery on and then we'll put the bow on and the tails. And then we'll take our time and make it look good, okay? But anyway, that's what the bow looks like so far. Let's go get some greenery. All right, so this is what we have. And this greenery here, this came from Walmart last year. But you know, whatever greenery you have, it don't rightly matter. All right, let's kind of put these kind of like so... That looks good right there. And we want to kind of fan this out a little bit. I know these picks are kind of big, but it's all right. So I'm just going to wire these together. And then we're going to wire them to the frame here. Let's see. Where do my wire cutters go? I don't rightly know. All right. Somebody asked me where I got these wire cutters. Maybe these are just regular wire cutters. I got them at Walmart in the hardware section. Um my jewelry pliers and all that i use for jewelry this let's see that's just regular standard hardware wire cutters so let me see all right that width is good i'm just going to take this ribbon this ribbon holy moly this wire and wrap it around it and then fasten it together and then we're going to wire it to our frame here all right so I don't think I want this straight up and down. I think I want this kind of at an angle, like going, you know, that way. So that you can see a little bit more of the actual candy cane that we have worked so hard to put on here. But anyway, I'm going to put hot glue right here. That's where I saw this lane. Don't worry, this is going to be covered up by the bow too. Um, every time I do this, somebody's like, you need to wire it down too. Okay, I say that in all my videos. If you want to wire it down, do so. You can also back it up with some E6000. Um, it's going to be an indoor wreath. It doesn't really matter. But I kind of want this to be an outdoor wreath this year. So I think I'm going to use the hot glue and I'm going to use some wire. So now we're just going to take the wire, wrap it around here, and attach it to the frame. Okay, there's our greenery. And that is pretty daggone sturdy. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. All right, so let's bend these down because I don't want it to um, conflict with this bow here. I'm just going to try to fluff it a little bit, like I said. And then once I get everything, like, glued down and fastened and in place, then I'll worry about it. Do I want tails on this? That's the question. I cut the tails, and then I'm like, you know, mm, I kind of, like, changed gear and went with the greenery. And now we really don't have place for the tails. Now, if you were just doing the greenery, like going up or going down, then, yeah, I mean, I guess you would have room for the tails, but I don't think I'm going to use them, to be honest. So let's just glue this down here. And this greenery is kind of heavy because it has the berries and the pine cones and everything. So, um, yeah, I put the wire on there to hold it down. And now let's just glue this right there. I guess I'll fluff that up here in a little bit. Now, I do have these berries, these like uh, frosty berries that someone had sent me. Jolene, are you listening? Jolene sent these to me. And these came from Dollar Tree. So let's take these out. Um, and I might just place a few of these here and there just to kind of bring in some more red. Let's see, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do want to do that. So I'm just going to stick hot glue in there. I'm just going to stick the berries in. And I'm just going to glue a few here and there, you know, just to, uh, like I said, brighten this up a little bit, bring in a little bit more color. And that will be that, friends. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. Links to all of which will be in the description box down below. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.